What up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be building sort of a tapping slash drill guide so you can drill straight holes if you're doing it freehand or you can tap holes so the you know the screws going in nice and straight. So let's get into it. So to start us off, I'm just making some markings where I want all the holes to be. And in case you're wondering, yes, this is the excess of Jabby's axe bar. So if you want to see uh, how I made the axe mechanism for Jabby, go and check that out. But yeah, I'm just marking out where all the holes are. Um, I did two rows of the smaller drill bits and then when it got up to the bigger drill bits I then did a single row as you'll see in a moment. The two rows for the smaller drill bits were the 1 to 6 mil drill bits and then I think it was 7 to 10 and then 12 um, because I didn't actually have an 11 mil so I saved that for later but uh, again you'll see all this in a minute. I'm not sponsored but chicken bovril is amazing and I bovril if you're watching this I'd like to be sponsored if you don't mind. <laughs> If you're wondering, I do have a centre punch, but the uh, say the centre isn't exactly punchy anymore. It's a, it's a bit flat, so I'm using this instead. So now I'm just drilling all of the different holes, and as you see here, I made a bit of an accident with the one millimeter one. I ended up snapping it off. So uh, yeah, we don't have a one millimeter hole, but uh, all the rest of them went smoothly. Yeah, I certainly made a mess of that, didn't I? Like snapped it clean off. So I'm starting with a smaller drill bit each time, and this is for two reasons. This is just a to make sure that I keep the holes where I want them, so that the drill bit doesn't wander but uh, also just to make the holes a little bit easier to drill so I definitely recommend uh, doing that if you're going to do this project yourself because it, it does make things a lot easier Yeah, those chips were rather hot, they were burning me hand there a bit. So here I'm just checking to see if the holes are square and I'm pretty happy with that considering that the better the drill press is currently levelled with tape. But anyway, um, here I'm just countersinking each of the holes just to A take off the burrs off the edges and B to make it a little bit easier to insert your drill or your tap. I then briefly run a file through each of the holes just to make sure there's no burrs on the inside but uh, they were all pretty good to be honest. Now those who have seen the Jabby build video, the first part of that, um, all recognise this janky setup. This is a an angle grinder holder, turn it into a miter thing. I don't know and and I can't even cut all the way down as you can see here I hit a stop so I have to then finish it off with the hacksaw and finally just some clean up with a file just to take off the rest of those burrs from that cut and just to make the edges nice and smooth So there you have it, there's the finished tool. 
Uh, just made out of a bit of alley, but you can do it out of whatever you've got. Like steel is probably better because you're less likely to mangle it up when you're drilling. But uh, all in all, very useful tool. I didn't bother with mine, but if you wanted to make a sort of a nice finish on it, you could give it a light sand with some really high grit sandpaper, and that will make like a brushed aluminium sort of uh, look to it which i think look really cool just do it all in one direction but uh being is i'm probably going to mangle it in two seconds i didn't bother but anyway thanks everybody for watching if you enjoy please like comment and subscribe it helps me out a lot and i shall see you next time ta-da what up youtube welcome back to really filthy glasses christ was that in the last video mother of pearl <laughs> Ah, still up from the angle grinder. Ah. Tapping, you can also keep the holes tapped so they don't go on the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible.